2018 has been the year of the Royals, and we're going to break it down for you, all of it. Uh, here to dive ahead first into the world of Royals is pop culture and royal expert James McCord. Hi, James. Hello there. All right, Thanks for James, being here. <laughs> we're going to take a trip down memory lane do to 2018. That's when a lot of the royal year kicked off. What happened in April? Right, I'm going to spill the royal tea for you. Today. Okay, That's why I'm spill here. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, the queen turned 92. Can you believe it? She, you're right. She has been queen since she was 25, and wow. now she's 92. She's now the longest reigning monarch in the world, which mm -hmm. is super impressive. And just to put it in context, like my dad's 74 years old. He's only ever really remembered the Queen. She became Queen when he was six. Mm. Um, I've only ever known the Queen. You know, she's on our money. She's on our stamps. She's on our mailboxes. She's everywhere. I, I think we're probably more positive um, towards her now than, than ever, really. Oh, of course. At yeah. this point, she's gone past any amount right. of, like, right. ah, we don't care. But now she's, uh, I, I would almost think this is a silly comparison, but like Betty White. Everyone just right. loves mm -hmm. Betty White. It's true. You know? It's true because she's a grandmother now, you of know. Course. And I think, you know, there was obviously a slight bit of negative feeling towards her during the Diana years. But that has definitely yeah. passed now. Um, so, so, yeah, in 92nd year, we had a huge uh, party for her at the Royal Albert Hall. Pop stars mm -hmm. there, so Tom Jones, Kylie Minogue, Sean Mendes. Um, it was very Shawn Mendes, okay, yeah. queen. <laughs> <laughs> and also they had uh, Shaggy doing a duet with uh, Sting, which I thought was a little unusual for a 92-year-old. But, mm -hmm. you know, she seemed to enjoy it. All the royals were there in support. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was great. So, very happy, 92 years old and still looking healthy, still looking fat. Fabulous. So, yeah. Still looking fabulous yeah. enough to, to join Fashion Week. Tell us right. about that. Yeah, so she attended Fashion Week this year for the very first time. And I don't know, you probably did see the what I think are iconic shots now. Mm. There she is. Look, <laughs> sat next to Anna Wintour on the front row of Richard Quinn's runway show. This this had some interesting uh, looks. Um, one of the models coming down the runway in, in a motorcycle <laughs> helmet covered in flowers. I would she, love to know what she's thinking. She gives oh, yeah. that sort of very like a face really that you can't read which I love about the Queen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she was there for an award. Um, it was the brand new Queen Elizabeth II Award for British Design, um, given by the uh, the British Fashion Council. And um, she was giving it for the very first time, so that's why she was there. But uh, it was a first, you know. I like the fact that she's still pushing the envelope and, uh, you know, hanging out with the cool crowd at 92. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, my question is, has she been to a fashion week before? I'm a, no. This is her first time. The very so first So what one. do you think has... What, what, what's, what's made her do this now? Is I mean, it Megan? Is it no, you know, the I time? Think, I think because the, 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 the Fashion Council wanted to name the award basically after her. Okay, so that's the only the reason award. she That's a there. very sneaky yeah. trick. We're going <laughs> to name the award after you yeah. if you come to yeah, the show. But I, I still don't think anyone actually thought she would come, you know. Yeah. And, then, right. and then there she is. And, of course, she was uh, in a classic Angela Kelly uh, look there, the, uh, the duck egg blue mm -hmm. tweed dress and... Uh, the black gloves that she always wears mm -hmm. and the uh, the trademark purse. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. She's great, isn't mm -hmm. she? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you grew up in London. So yeah. what was that experience like for you dealing with the, well, not dealing with the royals, but just experiencing the royals? Have you ever had any contact? Right. Well, I York? actually grew up um, in, near Manchester in the north of England, but the royals are on a constant, um, you know, like press tour, basically, mm -hmm. around the UK. Um, so they will open hospitals, they'll open museums, they will open, you know, basically ev events that are important to the country. Um, so I did, in fact, uh, meet Princess Diana when I was a, was a little kid. I probably was only about seven or eight years old when so she had the hospital near us mm -hmm. and she would you know shake everyone's hand and everything cut the ribbon um but um you know the royals are a big part of our lives growing up mm -hmm. as kids and uh, i just about remember the charles and die wedding but mm -hmm. uh, our house was filled with you know teacups with their faces mm -hmm. on and uh, dinner plates and uh, mm -hmm. things like that you know uh, lots of souvenirs and, and memorabilia so uh, so yeah you know it's really ingrained in us i think uh, as we grow up well that's so funny we were talking just a minute we got things ingrained in you we're about to talk about harry and meghan getting right. married you were telling me that our coverage of it was very different than your coverage well it was being a brit i keep abreast of all the the British television coverage and, and media coverage in the newspapers as well. And then I'm obviously here in the US. Mm -hmm. um, now I've been here for 10 years. So I, I kind of get a, I'm, I'm sort of down the middle really. I see mm -hmm. both. And I do feel like yours was a lot more extensive. It felt like the build up was huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had, you know, our, our main newscasters and people like that doing shows on the day of the wedding mm -hmm. and like maybe a few reports the night before and the day after mm -hmm. and things like that. But generally that was it. Whereas you guys, you had specials on just about every channel, some of which I was on. 
one. Oh, very nice. <laughs> it was good to couple of Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I do think you guys, I wouldn't say you love them more than we do, but I think you're more um, fascinated. Yeah, it's a fascination. Them. I mean, yeah. we just grow the celebrities up, at that yeah. wedding is fascinating. Yeah. That, but we grow up reading fairy tales, and you all have fairy tales <laughs> right down the street, it seems like. I suppose we do in a way. Yeah, I never well, really thought of it like that. Princesses and princesses and kings and queens. I kind of want to re rewind a little bit and talk about yeah. Prince Louis. Right, Prince Louis. Yes. Um, so the fact that he was born, it pushed Harry back. Right. So a little bit. Prince Harry was pushed down the uh, the, the line. So he's now sixth in line to the throne. Um, but, you know, we, we didn't really concentrate on that. We were just happy that they'd had their third child, the mm -hmm. third child, Louis. Prince Louis was healthy and happy. And uh, and there they are, look, on the, the steps of the uh, St. Mary's Hospital. I mean, this shot always fascinates me because... Kate is, for three times now she's done it, is down there on the steps looking radiant, not like she's just had a child, right. within a matter of a few hours. I mean, it's, it's anyone that's had a baby, all yeah. my female friends are like, that's unbelievable, you know, mm -hmm. that she's doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we, we were very happy with that. And, uh, you know, we, we, we just love new additions to the royal family. So, mm -hmm. very exciting. We do, too. Yeah. We talk about it all yeah. the time. Uh, we got to talk about the Christmas card. Uh, there's oh, one of Harry and Meghan. Oh, look at this photo. And Prince Louis, if you just look there, he's actually gripping Kate's mm -hmm. arm. Isn't that so sweet? sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then and then the, the Meghan and Harry one, which, which is completely different, where they're looking off into the distance with their mm -hmm. backs to the camera. And so, there's been a little bit of controversy about that. Like, oh, Right. Yeah, like you're turning your back on the world. Oh, oh no. no. I know. Oh, I mean, people read it. People will make a headline hard. from yeah. anything. But uh, I don't think it's that at all. But uh, very sweet uh, Christmas card there from uh, Kate and William, definitely. Yeah. Well, I love the love when it comes to the royal family. We have yeah. to talk about Princess Eugenie. Yeah. Um, she got married in October. Tell us Right. I mean, I, I feel like maybe she was a little overshadowed by the other wedding mm -hmm. uh, this of year. Course. But yeah, she married a commoner at Jack Brooks Bank at a wedding in Windsor. That was in St. George's chapel as well so it was the same chapel that uh, that uh, Meghan and Harry had married in just a few months earlier mm -hmm. um, it was star-studded again Cara Delevingne, Naomi Campbell, Ellie Goulding, Demi Moore, Ricky Martin in fact theirs was probably more star-studded in fact than Harry and Meghan's. Why do you um, think that is? I, I think it's because you know th she's further down um, in lineage to in line to the throne mm -hmm. so she's allowed I, a little bit more sway over like how the wedding will be, really? what the guest list will be. That too, and maybe because Jack, because Jack is friends with um, George Clooney. George Clooney, the Casamigos, right? They, they, yeah, basically they work together. So yeah. I mean, he might have some friends too. <laughs> maybe. You never know. Yeah, right. I think there's not. There doesn't have to be quite so much protocol when they're not quite so close to the throne. So, uh, but it, yeah, it was a, it was a great um, it was a great wedding, and I actually really like Princess Eugenie. You know, she's actually on social media. She has her own Instagram account and. She talks about issues that are close to her. Um, she's actually had, well, still got scoliosis, so she has two metal rods in her back. That was one of her first Instagram posts. But, yeah, I think she's great. So uh, so that was a, a nice royal wedding. And, uh, and it was different to Me Meghan and Harry, so... I don't think there was any like competition, despite yeah. the fact they were in the you know the same town in the same church. Yeah, I mean there might have been a little. <laughs> a I like little. to make the joke that we got you know in 2018 we got Princess Eugenie on Instagram and we lost Meghan Markle because she became a royal. Right. So, oh, just saying. I know. Right. Both of those weddings were internationally watched events that sparked uh, people talking about the royals in a more sort of modern way. Um, tell us who's modernizing the monarchy. I think Meghan's modernizing the monarchy, mm -hmm. don't you? I mean, people said when Kate married into the royal family, being, you know, the, the first commoner since the 1500s, that's mm -hmm. quite unbelievable. That, uh, that that was kind of modernizing things in a way, the fact she was so accepted. But Meghan, I mean, it's, it's on a different level. The fact she's biracial, the fact she's mm -hmm. American, mm -hmm. and, you know, even more important to, to some people in the UK, the fact she's a divorcee. Right. Now, the Queen's father, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> wasn't supposed to be king. So... In other words, the Queen wasn't supposed to be Queen. It was the Queen's father's brother that was, in fact, King. Now, he abdicated, couldn't be King any longer because he wanted to marry a divorcee who was American, mm -hmm. Wallace Simpson. So he decided, I'm not going to be King anymore and handing it over to my brother. And that's why the Queen's father became the King and we now have I the love Queen. This story. But that, you know, in just a couple of generations, that's, that's a non issue now, which wow, is yeah. incredible. It is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think she's, she's, 
she's modernizing it already. You know, she's breaking little protocols here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, Megan, you know, she's wearing skirts slightly above the knee, not wearing the <laughs> nylon stockings perhaps yeah. when she would, you know, maybe be told to. She's mm -hmm. perhaps pushing back a little bit. The black nail polish mm -hmm. that we saw with recently. I mean, all these things seem kind of silly, don't they, to us? Are they but written when you're down a royal, somewhere? Or is yeah. it just habit? Who keeps the rule book of the royals? Well, you know what? I think the queen has quite a big say in a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. And I think, you know, what she says kind of goes. Mm -hmm. So it's what she prefers more than it is actually sort of real protocol right. um, as such. You know, it, it's the queen would prefer it if you didn't wear right. dark nail polish. Mm. But, um, but yeah, I, I mean, she seems to be accepted into the royal family. Um, they're spending Christmas together, um, you know, and the queen will only, you know, only invite people yeah. to Christmas mm -hmm. Day, which is one of the most important days of the year for her, if she's sort of, you know, happy with you. Right, right, <laughs> so before, right. before, we, before we let you go, we yeah. have to talk about the pregnancy really quick. And yeah. then also, when is the next time we're going to be able to see the royals? What's coming up next for them? Well, yeah, the pregnancy, uh, actually there was, uh, there was uh, an appearance by Meghan in the UK a little bit earlier on today where people were quite surprised at how far along she looked. Uh -huh. I mean, she was suddenly looking quite big. People were speculating, could it be twins? Oh, I mean, can you imagine? Royal twins? I don't think we've that had that. That would be adorable. I, I, don't, I don't know that we've ever had any in history. Maybe we have. <laughs> um, but the next time we'll see them together is when all four of the, the fab four, as I call them, uh -huh. uh, will appear probably going to church on Christmas Day at Sunday. Andringham, the Queen's mm -hmm. royal estate. So that's the next time you'll see them all together. There, there's a shot from earlier today. Mm -hmm. So I think you'll agree, you know, she's she's kind of from from the last appearance. Right. So there's yeah. a lot. Well, that's there's great. The last it's great news. The baby is growing healthy. Yeah. We well, want yeah. that. We want her to get bigger. Yeah. Well, yeah. James, thank you so much. <laughs> no, thank no you problem. so much for spilling you, the royal tea <laughs> on these massive royal moments of 2018. Long might continue. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> much more ahead. Stick to the stream. We'll be right back.